Right, good morning guys. Today our chat is going to be about email signatures. What are they, why should you care, and how they can help you. So what you're seeing in front of you right here is my fancy new email signature. You want one, right? I know. That's what this post is going to do for you. It's going to show you not just where and how to find them and how to create them using free things, but why? And how to monetize your email signature on top of that as well. So this is what we're aiming to create today. Looks beautiful. Um, it has awesome social, uh, social links as well, which means people can click through and find all my profiles. So this concept, it can be changed, guys. Don't stress too much if it's not exactly what you want for yours. Just know that once you've learned all these nice things in this tutorial today, you can apply them in whichever way you want. So everything I'm going to talk about today, guys, is going to be covered inside my blog post. So my ebook.co.za, I will put the link in the YouTube uh, section as well underneath the video. But just know that everything I'm going to show you has been blogged about. You can see the, uh, you can see the address right here. So let's get started. How to create your custom email signature and why? The first step, guys, is, well, free advertising. So using the email signature, it's zero effort. You can insert your products, your books if you're an author, <coughs> new software, anything like that. You can insert into the email signature. It's, it's free advertising. Why would you not want free advertising? Guys, it's, it's, it's gold for business owners out there who are wondering how to reach more customers and how to earn a bit more cash. So the second thing is, it's professional. Nothing looks worse than a person who has a plain, boring, text-only email signature. I know some people who prefer that, you know, the text email signature format. I'm not one of them. So the way you monetize an email signature is by embedding affiliate links inside as well. So email signatures, you can hyperlink pictures and you can hyperlink text. Now to embed a affiliate link, an affiliate link inside the hyperlink, uh, the hyperlinked bits is not difficult, which means that aside from looking good and being professional, you can earn some extra cash. The other awesome bit is that any new changes in your business, you can now convey to your customers. So things like we're changing um, address, we have a brand new product, we have a brand new staff member, um, that can be conveyed within your email signature, which means that maybe you're closing in December, maybe you're away for five weeks in June. You can convey that message repeatedly without having to force it down a customer's throat by just putting it inside your email signature. And, and, and lastly, which sort of ties everything together, it's for the lazy customer. So you obviously want to make things as simple as possible. You want to hyperlink, you want to make it pretty so that the lazy customer, which is most of us nowadays, can find you. Okay, so the beginning bit as well. Everything I'm going to show you guys is going to be within Microsoft Outlook. I do use Office 365, so it's the most recent version. I'm guessing it's going to be Outlook 2016. Um, so everything I show you is going to be within Outlook, um, but the principles still apply. So if you have Thunderbird or, or um, Gmail, for example, a lot of what I show you can still be applied. So still watch, even if you don't have Outlook, a lot of it still might be useful. Now, there might be those of you who go, oh God, this looks so complicated. I get that. Don't worry. So right in the beginning, I'm going to say up front that there are simple ways to create email signatures, very much like a point and click. You give us your name, you give us your address, and we'll put it all together in an email signature for you. I've listed both platforms here. So there's exclaimer.co.za, and there's also this option here, which I use fairly often. Very quick, very simple. The downside of using these builders, um, these free builders, is that often they embed their link inside the email signature. Often they're going to want your email address. So for someone like me who who just gets too much spam as it is, um, I'm not a fan. And and even when I do use them, I tend to pull out their um, little backlink point, that points back to them anyway. Here's an example. So if you had to use one of the free editors, this is kind of what you can expect. Okay, guys. You ready? Step one. What to do for your email signature is, first, I wanted an awesome font. So you can see the font that I've used here is quite fancy. I picked this font because it looked like handwriting. So step one was, I wanted a font, but not just any font. I wanted a font that I knew would be safe for me. Copyright free, in other words. So that's where Font Squirrel comes in. So Font Squirrel, for those guys who don't know, is a great resource for free fonts. 
You don't have to feel guilty about licensing. Everything's free. Um, so what I did was I came into Font Squirrel and I did a search, for example, for handwriting. Hand writing. I wanted this effect. You can search for whatever you want. Maybe you want something a bit more professional, you know, than handwriting. Obviously, I've done it wrong here. Um, let's see if it auto completes anything. Handwritten. Interesting. Okay, doesn't matter, guys. Essentially, you decide what font you like. I came to Squant for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dyslexic. Sorry, guys. I came to Font Squirrel and I decided I want handwriting. So I searched and I came up with, if I look, maybe six or so font types. Um, there we go. What's that? Six different items that I thought, you know what, these look pretty much like font. So this is how you'll download it from Font Squirrel. If you open it up, if you open it up, you'll see something like this. So I compared all of them. I opened up a Word document, typed out all the different fonts together, and I picked one that I liked. Um, the font that I chose with was Harabara Hand. Okay, so once you've picked your font, so you found your font, let's say it was this font, and you like this font, download it. So download TTF, you see here. You download it, you save it to your PC. You see it's going to save as a zip file, guys. So once you've downloaded the font, you go into the zip file. You open the TTF and you install. Guys, if you don't install, you won't see this font inside Outlook. You won't see the font anywhere. So make sure that once you've downloaded the zip file, you go into it, you install. Obviously, I had already installed it. Okay, so first step, find your font. Make sure you're happy. This to me was a beautiful handwritten effect. I loved it. Okay, so step two. Social icon. So you want free social icons. You can see exactly where I'm going to use it here. I'm going to use it like that. So I wanted free social icons. I did quite a bit of Googling and I managed to find a great set of social icons. I have linked it directly off my site, um, off the blog post. So if you guys want it, it is freely available. But essentially what I, I downloaded was circular social icon. Circular meaning there's no background. It's PNG file format. So I have linked to, uh, to the resources under my blog post. But essentially, I ended up downloading, I made sure they were free, obviously, and the PNG format, here they are. All the different social icons you'll ever need. Just note, guys, these things are huge. A thousand by a thousand, meaning we're going to have to resize, as, uh, resize these when we put these into the signature. Okay, so social icons, check. I've got the font that I like. I've installed it as well. Check. Next bit was, well, what main image do I want? Now, the main image, guys, this depends on you. It could be a picture of a new software. It could be a picture of your office space. It could be a picture. I wanted me. I wanted my customers to get a personal touch of me. So that's why I use my uh, portrait, my avatar, should I say. This can be anything you want. Um, so, so go wild. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my dear colleague Bridget's avatar. I hope she forgives me. Okay, so we've got our avatar, we've got our social icons, we've got our font, we've installed our font. Right. By the way, I've actually linked to Fiverr.com where you can get this cool avatar if you want it. First step. Okay, so I'm going to close down this example. We start from scratch. So I've got Outlook. I've got a brand new email. Bam. So step one we've said is to open, create a new blank. Then insert the main picture, which is our avatar, for example. So I come to insert pictures. Let me just browse for it very quickly. Okay. So I can make this bigger. Basically, that's my avatar. Insert. Now, guys, it's too big. We know this. So drag, bring it down. Now, that looks nice. And a lot of you will be okay leaving it like this. I wanted it round. So what I did was I double click. As soon as I double click, picture tools comes up and I went for this option. Looks great, right? Now what you can't see really too easily in this in this in this video is that there's a shadow underneath this thing. So underneath this um, effect, um, you can see almost in that in that little picture there's a there's a shadow. I want that shadow gone. So I've come to what is it picture effects, shadow, and I'm gonna say no shadow. I'm trying to see if you can see a difference. It's a, a very hard to see, but either way, there was a shadow. I don't want that shadow there. I'm going to say no shadow. Very important, guys. Now, I want my text to appear here, but notice if I type 
put text, well, look what happens. It, you know, it's not going where I want it. It's putting above, it's putting below, so not what I want, right? I want text to go on the right hand side. So double click, wrap text, square. Now watch this, guys. Now I can put my text directly on the side. That's exactly what I want. Great. Next step, I want my awesome font. So you must have installed your font to find it first. Okay, so we're going to type Bridget Lots. Now, Bridget is my colleague. She won't mind me butchering her email signature. So I have typed a name. I'm going to pick my font that I've installed. There it is, recently used. Otherwise, you can just type in H-A-R-A. -A. You can search for it. Obviously, it depends on the font you've chosen. Hara Barra, there it is. Okay, let's make the font a bit bigger. I like it bold, so I'm going to go bold. No, it looks nice, guys. It looks very much like what I wanted. In fact, I'd probably say let's make this a little smaller. Make this a little bigger. Let's bring a little space. Maybe bring the text up a bit. There we go. Looking good, guys. Okay, next step. I want my social icons. Now, remember, guys, these social icons are huge. We're going to have to resize them. So let's put a few in. Now, I'm only going to put a few... But the principle applies to all of them. So picture um, my fat icons, PNG. Okay, so, okay, for argument's sake, I want to put my Facebook link. Now, guys, it's going to be big. Brace yourself. Huge, right? Now, you can drag this to size. That's kind of what I did the first time, but there's a smarter way. If you right-click, so you just right-click, format picture. Oh, wrong one. Right-click, size and position, sorry. Let's get rid of this thing rotating me. Sorry, right click size and position. Notice that I've got a scale. So I'm going to go 5% of 5% of the original size. Much better, guys. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about resizing specifics here. It, in my mind, is good enough. You get the principle. Space bar. Insert next picture. So insert picture. Okay, next I'm going to put LinkedIn. It's huge. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go size and position. I'm going to reduce the height to 5%. Width to 5%. Okay. Guys, I'm very sure you guys are smart enough to figure out what's going to happen from here. So pictures. Let's do one more. Twitter. It's huge. Right click. Size and position. And we go 5%. Okay. So. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 5%. 5%. Guys, it's looking great. If you wanted to reduce the size between these, um, reduce the size of your font. Reduce the size of your font. Sorry, I've just selected that space and I've said, you see that? So I select the space. So hold down shift, arrow key, and reduce the font size. Do you see that? Okay, guys, I hope you're with me. So we've inserted a main picture. We have removed the shadow effect. We have also then um, made it square so that the text appears right alongside it. We've inserted our brand new, fancy, very sexy looking text. Uh, we've made it the right size, we've inserted our social icons, reduced them to the size we want as well. Obviously, you can make this big or smaller, you can drag it as big as you need. So, this is kind of 99% done. Next step is I go Control A. For those of you who don't want to push Control A, you could drag, you know, drag select, although I'm struggling to get that Twitter icon. So, to make it safe, I'm going to go Control A, which is select all. Um, Control A, Control C. You could also right click and copy, by the way. But I'm going to go Control A, Control A, Control C. Signature, signatures. So these two are existing email signatures. I'm going to go signature. Now that's my signature. I'm going to go brand new one, please. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. YouTube tut. Bang. Blank canvas. Let's create it, guys. So don't forget, I've copied it. So I'm going to paste it. Now. Yes, it's very weird. I don't know why it's not appearing, but just know that that icon, that image of Dear Bridget is inside here. It's not appearing for whatever reason, but it's here. It took me a while to figure this out, and I still don't know why it's not showing, but it's there. Okay, so we've got the name, we've got the icons, and even though you can't see it, Bridget's dear face is on the left-hand side, I promise you. Okay, so what next? Okay, we hyperlink. So we click on Facebook, we go link, and we type in facebook.com forward slash whatever you would want. Now naturally this would probably won't be facebook.com. It'll be, you know, your http www.facebook.com. I'm doing it the fast and lazy way. Okay. 
LinkedIn, same thing. Hyperlink here, you type in linkedin.com forward slash whatever your profile might be. Twitter, once again, hyperlink. Um, I guess the full way would be something like http colon forward slash forward slash dub 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 dot twitter.com forward slash whatever your username is. It doesn't make a difference for our tutorial guys. So you get the you get the gist of it. So we've copied across um, we have hyperlinked our social icons. We are done, guys. So I'm going to go OK. Now, OK is going to save it. OK. Busy saving. Now, let's delete everything I've done. So I have Control A. I've deleted. Drop down from Signature and YouTube Tat. We've done it, guys. You got a beautiful signature. Some of you might say, oh, the alignment's out. No problem. So for the alignment's out, come back into, uh, sorry, into Signatures. Select the one we're talking about. Okay, so let's say we want the font two bits over. Okay, so I'm going to go OK, which basically means save. I'm going to just Control A and delete. Reinsert it again. Guys, you can play around with this to your heart's content, but just know that it works. As I mentioned, um, you can hyperlink to earn a bit of extra cash. So what I would do if that was me is let, for example, pretend that this was a book. This Facebook icon was a book. So you would come to Amazon. You would find your Amazon code. Now, the affiliate link for Amazon would embed your tag inside this whole long code. So we'd pick a book, for example, this one. Um, and we would then generate an affiliate tag. It's another tutorial, really, guys. So I'm not going to really go into nitty-gritty in this video. We'd copy it come back to your email signature and say, well, this icon is actually to buy my book. And you'd link it straight here. You're done, guys. So you've made a very sexy email signature. You know the basics. You can adapt this however you want to make it your own. So guys, let me know what you think. It's been a really cool tutorial. I think the signature looks great. I think, you know, you guys can apply this to a lot of what you're doing. And I think it's really free advertising for business owners. What more do you want, guys? It's amazing. So thanks a lot for sticking with me through the whole video. If you liked it, you owe me a comment. Thanks a lot.